I watched in silence as he brought in the woman. Her skin now a venomous green. The wanton creature no longer looked like a human being, much less a woman. The Bible says, suffer not a witch to live. Yet he has once again delivered this female atrocity to our care. Once I have dealt with the monster, I think it will be time to see if green wood does, in fact, burn. Wasn't I supposed to be doing something? What happened? Oh, my head hurts. Ugh. I hurt all over. What happened? I had a dream I was fighting with you. <sighs> Sitting in the darkness outside of his cell, I watched the crazed twitching listened to the disgusting words that came from his mouth. How can I let a dirty animal like this live? He is the cancer I have sworn to protect the city from. Curse me for a fool! How could I not see it until now? The monster had a confederate! I hid in the darkness near his cell, and saw with my own eyes one of the doctors whispering to him. She looked at him through the transparent barrier with tenderness, with, dare I say, desire. My skin crawled with revulsion as she kissed the glass. Fighting the urge to dash the woman's head through the glass, I let her continue. The damnable clown might have shared secrets with her that would be useful once the mad dog has been executed. I'm sure the woman will reveal what she knows to me. If not willingly, then certainly under electronic persuasion. After that, a lobotomy, I think. Unfortunate for one so young. But her lust has put the reputation of Arkham at stake. Yes, a lobotomy. The very thing. There is no other way to ensure her silence in this regrettable matter. Our low security wing... Yet again, I found myself watching him. No one can provide a cure. He laughs in the face of those who try. Amadeus would not have let him live, and neither should I. One last sip of cognac, and I was ready. What are all those bangs? Joker got his hands on a mortar? I hope you found Harley Quinn. He watched as I entered the cell. He smiled as I showed him the knife. I told him how I will use it. 
How I will cleanse this city. And then... Terra. I was paralyzed. I struggled. I screamed. But I was silent. The monster looked at me. Expressionless. He ran my blade slowly across my forehead. A smile cracked across his horrible porcelain face. And I heard the filth fall from his mouth. He laughed and called me that horrible name. A cell's too good for freaks like Harley Quinn and Joker. What are all those bangs? Has Joker got his hands on a mortar? It must have been Crane. Another one who doesn't deserve to live. Why do these people thrive on chaos? Joker, in particular, desired anarchy. And since his escape will no doubt wreak it upon my city, I feel this is the end for my diary. Joker will be recaptured. My story will be told. I am not afraid. If Arkham becomes my cell, then I will know I did my best. I will be remembered. I am the spirit of Amadeus Arkham. Even though Amadeus had long since passed, his spirit lived on, surviving, moving through the walls of his asylum. When it chose me, I felt proud. I was honored to continue his work, to cleanse this city. If you are strong-willed enough to follow my tale, you are strong-minded enough to deduce my identity. Come and find me, friend. Together, we will save Gotham. Why did the Warden take off so quick? I thought you told him to stay put. <laughs> My name is Quincy Sharp, the spirit of Amadeus Arkham. You have done well to decipher my story. And I pray it has helped you on your path. I trust that through my writings, you will do what is right. Please, I implore you, continue my work. This city deserves a savior. Continue my work.